Dang, guys, look at all these cars. Look, this guy here, he's even running. He's running to get there. <laughs> My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burke and it's Friday, baby. And normally this is five thrift store Friday, but it's yard sale season. So we're hitting up a yard sale right now. I'm over in North Richland Hills. I have not been over here in over two decades and uh, it's been a long time, but there was a yard sale over here. It was like a 50 minute drive, 45, 50 minute drive. And uh, they said they had lots of toys and the ad even said, if you're a collector, this is your opportunity. So like, I'm like, all right, that's cool. So let's, uh, hopefully they got some collectible toys and they're not just blowing smoke up our arse, so. All right, guys, we're gonna head in here. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that the vintage yard sale gods are good to me today and we can score some sweet vintage collectible toys. Hopefully they got some Lucy's. I don't wanna be paying top dollar for like, you know, carded figures and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll see what they got. And then dived into comics and now this comics probably Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw on your ad your thing, you have some comics? Yeah, there's some right here. Um, oh, okay. And I'm just replenishing as the day goes on. Um, oh, that's cool, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been on what you're into. Um, I'll probably grab a couple comics or two. Oh, that's a cool one. One of the things I love about comics, too, especially the older ones, is just the uh, the advertisements in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love seeing all those old ads. Oh, that's a cool one. Like, it's not like my main thing, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, that one's a dollar. This one's a dollar? That one's cool, though, man, because that's that. Uh, it's got like a uh, thing that's Russian. It's like okay. a Russian Batman. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah I actually have a plaque on my wall uh -huh. that's like a newspaper clipping. It's got Batman on it, so this actually looks really good. That one's really good. Yeah. Oh, man, I just. You live right here? I live in Plano, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. So oh, yeah. Like, yeah, a little, little haul to get over here. There you it took, go. took me almost 50 minutes with traffic. Really? Yeah. Oh, dang, I used to live in Plano, actually. Oh, did you? Down right there in downtown on 15. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice little area. Then I got right, <laughs> now right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I moved to, I'm originally from Pennsylvania, but I moved to Texas back in, uh, um, back in 2000, so I've been here a while. Yeah. But uh, when I first moved here, I lived in Louisville. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, but I'm out uh, out that way now. Yeah. I like it out that way. I tell you, it's really pretty yeah. out this way though. Like, no, it is. I was surprised. My wife wanted to move up this way. And I was like, oh man, Plano's the best. Yeah. And I was like, dude, it's pretty nice out here. Yeah. As I was driving like some of the roads to get here, I was like, wow, this is like really. It, it just felt good. Had like good energy. Yeah. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause like when I first moved here, I lived in Louisville and then I lived over like Hershey, Bedford and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. It's just like, it feels like just concrete city over there. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. I also have a eBay store. If, uh, oh, you do? I, I can give that. If yeah. You know. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll write that down. Cause actually. I have, uh, I have plus 200 comics. The shoes, uh, fifteen. Those on top are fifteen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this would look good with it. Um, I'm not a big Funko collector. My wife is into Funkos big time. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes I see stuff like Masters of the Universe. I mean, I grew up on that stuff. Right. Yeah. Uh, what are you asking for this? That one is twelve. Uh, twelve. Okay. I think I'll take that too. All right, guys. Well, hey, I picked up some stuff. There wasn't like a large selection of things, but some of the stuff he had was actually pretty cool. So let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. All right, first up, I grabbed this comic book, this Marvel Comics. It's a uh, Deathlock. I don't, 
no, I'm not overly familiar with it. <laughs> Obviously, like I told you guys, I don't know a whole lot about Marvel, but I'm trying to learn, guys. You know what I mean? So, like, I appreciate all the help that you guys give me, but I thought the artwork just looked amazing. And it looks like maybe that's like Black Panther there in the background, but it's uh, Deathlock out of Africa. So I was excited for this. All of these comics were a dollar, by the way, which was awesome. I paid less than what they charged for them originally back in the day. So thank you to Mario, uh, the guy hosting the yard sale, which by the way, guys, he's got an eBay store called M Imperial Collectibles. I'll put it up on the screen. I'll link it in the comments below. He's got a bunch of comics for sale on there. He said, if you guys are interested in comics, maybe you can snag yourself a good deal. He's also on Instagram at Imperial Collectibles as well. So, but I got the Deathlock uh, comic book. I also picked up this Batman and uh, check this out. It's like Russian. It's like written in Russian or something like that. So it's like a Russian comic book. I thought this was really awesome. And these comic books look like they're in really good shape as well. So you can tell he took pretty good care of them. I got the Batman comic. I also got The Adventures of Superman. I mean, this is definitely an older comic look. It was only 75 cents back in the day. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, maybe Dark Side and Superman. I think that's Dark Side, right? Uh, but yeah, man, this is really cool. And I'm really excited to like go through these comics and like kind of look at the old advertisements and stuff like that in there. It's one of my favorite parts about old comics, but, uh, check out the artwork on that. How amazing is that? So I got this and I also got Power Man and Iron Fist. Never heard of these guys. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I've, uh, I've seen this guy before. Is his name, is that, is that Iron Fist? Maybe? I don't know. You guys can help me out, but I like the artwork on this as well. That uh, yellow, orange, and green really pops on this comic, I think. So I picked this up. And then last, but certainly not least, I got this Masters of the Universe Evil Lynn Funko Pop. I just picked up that Skeletor on Throne at Dirt Cheap like a week or two ago. So she'll look nice next to him. I can reunite the couple. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Skelly. You want to get you a little evil Lynn. But um, yeah, so it also comes with this t-shirt, this Evil Warriors Snake Mountain t-shirt. It's a size large, which I might actually be able to fit into that now, guys. I have officially broken the 200 pound mark this morning. I woke up and I was 198.6. So I'm officially under 200 pounds. So your boy is just, just shedding the pounds, shedding the weight. It's going to look good. I'm going to put on that t-shirt and I'm going to look all muscly and stuff like that. Now, probably not because I don't have any muscles. That's the next step. Now that I'm losing the weight, I'm going to build me some big, strong muscles. Got to drink my milk and build big, strong muscles. But actually, milk is not really good for you. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to see if there's any other yard sales in the area. If not, then we'll probably go maybe do our five thrift store Friday. It's still kind of early. It's not even 8.30 yet. And, uh, you know, we could still hit up all those stores. They don't open till nine. And by the time I get over there, it'll probably be nine o'clock. So anyway, wherever I end up, I will see you there. Well, surprise, surprise, we're in the same spot. I've decided I'm going to head back in there and just kind of double check on some things and make sure I didn't pass up anything cool. I felt like I kind of like glanced over those comics a little too quickly. And knowing that most of them are just like a dollar, I think some of them might have been a little bit more than a dollar, but like most of them were a dollar. So I think it'd be a good deal all the way around. So let's head back in and check out Mario's comic collection and see if we can score a little more. Well, that one's got the- That is a cool cover. cover. And it has the front and back. Oh, it has it, has it on front and back? No, on the back. Oh, um, I gotta show you. Real quick. Uh, it has the- uh... Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, yeah, dude, that's gorgeous. Daredevil and Ghost Rider. Oh, oh, yeah. So, what are you asking for that one? That one's a four. I'll okay. Four. All right. Yeah, you got a deal, man. So, yeah, guys, I, I had to come back. Um, <laughs> it was like, I don't want to miss anything. I think I over looked over them a little too quickly, you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pick these up as well, and we're going to get this. Well, who would have known that the next stop was going to be the exact same place? 
<laughs> I was getting ready to pull out and I was like, ah, oh, you know, I should probably head back in there, you know, just in case. And, uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look at these covers, man. These things are awesome. Check out that cover guys. Holy cow. Is that thing gorgeous? That is beautiful. And, uh, he was like, yeah, I almost don't even want to get rid of that one, bro. <laughs> so Mario, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Again, this cover is just like so vibrant and so well done, man. The details, just the, all the little tiny details of that, man. It's just amazing. So we got the uh, Wolverine versus Ghost Rider um, comic. And then we also picked up Flash and Superman, the fastest men alive. It's a race against time with Jimmy Olsen's life at stake. So we got Flash and Supes. We also got Spitfire. So I've never actually heard of Spitfire. Only 75 cents for that comic back in the day, guys. How cool is that? So we got this. We also picked up Batman and the Outsiders. So fan out. We got to find the Batman before it's too late. Look at him. He's all injured and hurt down there. So... I uh, got this. Their first anniversary may be their last. Ooh, why? What's happening? What's going on? I, I must get this comic and read and see what's going on. Oh, look, she got like a little rainbow sprite thing, rainbow bright thing going on with her hair. So we got the Batman and the Outsiders. And then we also picked up Cable and Storm versus the Incredible Hulk. So we got ourselves a little Hulk comic. August 1996 is when this was printed. So we got this. And then last, but certainly not least, we got this double edge, the death of. And uh, man, look at that. It's just got this metallic chromed out cover. And uh, oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Absolutely stunning, really. And then the back of it was so cool. Let me show you the back of it. Check it out, man. It's Ghost Rider. How freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Look at it shine. Oh, look at that as you like turn the book. It's almost like a hologram. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. I have a friend of mine. His name is uh, Elra Morgan, Dr. Elra Morgan. He's a big Ghost Rider fan. I'm going to send him a picture of this and say, look what I picked up today. Wow, guys, that is an epic cover. All right, now we are off to wherever. I'll see you there. Check out this monster truck in front of me. This thing is super cool. <laughs> oh, man, dude, I would love to drive that thing. All right, we are at another yard sale. So I looked at this one actually had some photos on the app. I saw they had some 80s toys but didn't necessarily look like anything I was interested in. I mean, they had some Care Bears plushes, they had some Cabbage Patch Kids, but you know, I didn't know if maybe they didn't post all their pictures. So we're here to check it out, guys. So hopefully they got a little vent vent in there for you, boy Burr. Let's go check it out. Look at all these trophies. Those are actually kind of cool. <laughs> It's our boy Buzz. Look at that Halloween mask. It's a little ripped up though.
All right, guys, so that yard sale actually started on Thursday. Today's Friday. So everything that was in the photos looks like it's been picked over. Let's see if we can find another one. Well, guys, my GPS is like, I don't know. These roads are confusing over here, but there's Fort Worth. If none of you have ever seen Fort Worth, this is actually the furthest south or west I've ever been thrifting or hunting for stuff ever. <laughs> I've never seen Fort Worth while out thrifting or hunting toys, so this is a first for me. Who would have thought that you could get lost with GPS in this day and age? <laughs> These streets are just confusing. I took the wrong exit and I actually initially typed in, I was looking for North Richland Hills Boulevard when I put it in my maps and I accidentally tap, tapped on a street called Northumberland and it started taking me like way out of North Richland Hills. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, this isn't right. Let me look, what's going on? And I was like, oh man, I hit Northumberland instead of North Richland Hills Boulevard. So then I had to backtrack and then backtracking added like an extra 15 minutes. And then I took a wrong exit. Now I'm over in Fort Worth and I just need to get back to North Richland Hills. So anyway, this is this, these are times I need Nicole. I need her to be my co-pilot kind of direct me you know so anyway we'll uh this uh yard sale that we're going to a yard sale they said in the ad vintage toys they opened at nine i would have originally got there at 9 15 but now i'm not going to get there till 9 34 at least according to my eta on the gps uh but they did say they had vintage toys so i'm excited we might actually score something if it's not picked over by the time we get there these these vintage toy hunters, man, they're savage. They're savages. Like they get there right as things open, if not before, and then they get in there and they just scoop it all up. I've seen them walk in with bags, like garbage bags, and just start dumping stuff off the table into the bags. No joke, I've seen it. So, all right, well, let me focus on this, uh, getting off on this exit and getting to this, uh, getting to this yard sale. Dang, guys, look at all these cars. Look, this guy here, he's even running. He's running to get there. <laughs> oh man, dude, I don't know what we're gonna find, but we're gonna try and find something. All right, guys, we're here, but I'm not exactly sure what this situation is. 7625, I don't know if that's it. That kind of looks like a school. Yeah, well. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I gotta find it. Uh, this is it down here where this trailer is. I saw on the other side of the truck, there's a yellow sign. And look at all these guys like racing in there. Man, there must be some good stuff in there. I mean, people are like practically running. Look at this guy come flying in here. for the rifle. That rifle's pretty sweet. How do they grab that? Look at this gun. Yeah, look at that. And then we got this Knight Rider. Oh, that's awesome. What's this right here? G.I. Joe official space capsule? I went 125 for that. Wow, that's cool. We got some old military canteens. Gas mask. <laughs> that's an old erector set. Yeah, that is an old erector set. <laughs> wow. And we've got some original Magic 8 balls. We've got a Rubik's Cube. A little train for little people. Uh -oh, I want it on the $20. Uh-oh, I want it on the $600. Behind. Okay, if they get a lot of those, I don't know if it's good or not, but I'll double check for you. If we can do it, we'll do it. I wonder how much the vintage Joe is. That's why I'm inclined. Oh, wow, we got tons of Playboy here. What's that? Ah, oh, the birds. 
been wanting this one. All right, let's grab that for sure. Who is that, Ron Jeremy? <laughs> That's Yanni. Look. Yeah, we got some Gloria Estefan. Tell the beat and we got the soundtrack to Mission Impossible. Right, looks like we've got some Garfields. Sears catalogs. Oh, I got some old, old trolls in here. That's a cute one. Look at these old racetracks. Light up blinking clown nose. It's from uh, 2000. a little while back. Whistle instruction. Oh, learn how to whistle, I guess, <laughs> using this whistle. That's poppers. Yeah, I saw those. Um, this is so funny. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I thought. It just it was just not tonight. Because I'm not ready to check out there and it goes. 
All right, guys, so I picked up a few items. We'll jump in the car and do a little show and tell. I was gonna get the Superman record, but they wanted $25 for it. And uh, it was sealed. And I don't know, I, I looked it up on eBay. It was like selling for like 20 to 25 bucks. I just, you know, if it had been cheaper, if it had been like $15 or $10, I probably would have probably gotten it. But I got some cool stuff here. This Terminator PC game, this thing is kind of neat. I'll, let me jump in the car and show you. All right, first of all, I got VHS. I got a VHS of the Burbs. I've been looking for this, uh, so I was really pleased to find it. And the ladies at the uh, estate sale there, they were just going on and on about like how much they love this movie. They're like, oh my God. And they started like quoting all the little one-liners from it. So I could tell they were definitely Burbs fans. But uh, I got the Burbs. I also picked up the Naked Gun two and a half. I picked up the Naked Gun not too long ago, a couple months back, I think. So I got uh, two and a half with Leslie Nielsen. So, and the Juice Man, it's the Juice Man. So we got this and we got the T2 arcade game for PC made by Acclaim. Now check this out. How cool is this? This thing is so old. It actually, this is why I got it. It actually has a floppy disk. Look at that. <laughs> that is freaking awesome, man. Oh, it's so cool. And then it has a floppy disk, but then it also has a hard disk. Remember when we changed from floppy to hard disks? So, uh, yeah, man, I thought this was a nice little throwback. It's in really great shape. And uh, I've got some Terminator, vintage Terminator figures uh, on the shelf, and I thought, you know, this would make a nice little display for it. Oh, wow, look, it even has, like, the buy any two of these PC products and get a free Mortal Kombat cap. Nice! All right, I wonder if that offer's still good. So, I feel like I got a sweet little score with this, so this will make a nice little display with my Terminator figures, 
and just you know the throwback man of those floppy discs talk about talk about a hit of nostalgia holy cow so all right guys well i'm gonna start heading back to the house but we'll probably hit up a thrift store or two on the way home so wherever i end up i will see you there all right we're here texas thrift we haven't been to this texas thrift in a while so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today maybe we can find some vintage toys in here I don't know what that is. What is this dude? He looks old. Does that say there? Ankylosaurus. Oh, look at this three ring binder here. Filled with Pokemon cards. Oh, I wonder how much they want for that. I don't see a price on it. Oh, $6.98? That seems like it would be a good deal, huh? What year are these things from? Oh, they're from the 90s. These are from the 1990s. All right, let's definitely grab this. I think this is gonna be a good score. All right, well, let's get to rummaging through these bags. Looks like a lot of Barbie doll stuff on this end. That is a little Snoopy. Got a little bag of dinos. Some sort of, uh, some sort of boar, a wild hog. Got some more Lego stuff, some Lincoln Logs. I think that's one of those How to Train Your Dragon Dragons. We got over here in the cart. Oh, that's a cool plane. And uh, we got a die cast Star Wars figure. He's heavy. All right, y'all. I got me some Pokemon, so I'm gonna need a little help from you guys. Let's jump in the car, do a little show and tell. We'll flip through the book. You guys can let me know if I got anything significant. All right, so first up, uh, we do have this awesome three ring binder. It's from 1999, made by Rembrandt. So it's a little vintage itself. So the binder in and of itself could be worth a little money. But uh, here are the cards. And again, I have no idea if any of these are worth anything. These ones actually look perforated, like they were part of a bigger sheet that were torn off. These look like, you know, normal factory type cards. I need to, I need to fix this. Give me just a second and we're back. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of scan through some of these a lot of these look like the perforated ones so i don't think they're probably worth too much i don't know they could be you guys can tell me sabrina's hunter but they're from like 1998 it looks like well actually over here it says 99 2000 so they must be from like 99 2000 i guess not as early as i thought they were i thought they were like mid 90s to begin with Looks like we got some cool cards in here though. I mean, these things are really colorful, aren't they? And I may have Jack Squat, you know? I might not even have the $7 and some odd cents I paid for it with tax. But if you guys see anything in here, let me know. If I'm rich, <laughs> let me know if I hit the jackpot, guys. I don't think I did though. I don't see any of the like really shiny cards. I think the shiny ones are the ones you really want to have, you know. But hey, for seven bucks, I was willing to take a gamble on it. And it's got this nice binder. Um, and I can just peel these stickers off and kind of clean it up and stuff like that. But uh, I'm definitely going to 
flip it or trade it with somebody that's for sure unless of course i got a card in there that's worth like you know twenty thousand dollars then then i'll just sell it you know i'll uh take it somewhere to a buyer <laughs> or uh maybe list it on ebay i don't know all right guys taking a shot on the pokemon all right so let's hit up one more thrift store for the day so uh i think there's a goodwill down the street probably hit that up Anyway, wherever I end up, again, you know, I mean, I'll just see you there. Because I don't really know where I'm going today. I'm just kind of like, I'm freestyling it. As they say on American Pickers, I'm, I'm freestyling. Hey, Frankie, you ready to freestyle? Man, uh, what's the deal with those guys? By the way, by the way Frank Fritz from uh, American Pickers, did you guys know that he had a stroke last year? Kind of makes you wonder, you know. A guy like that, I think he's like only in his 50s. Had a stroke. He's in pretty bad shape from what I understand. Plus, there was like a little bit of a falling out right before that between him and Mike. I don't know what all that, what the story behind that was. But Frank left the show. But uh, yeah, I watch that show all the time and I always loved it when they were out freestyling. So that's what we're doing today. We're freestyling. All right. I'll see you wherever. All right. We are here. And uh, I put on a... I put on the t-shirt, so hey Mario, thanks, because I had, my sweatshirt got really hot. It was, uh, the, it's, it's, the sun's out, you know, the temperature went up a little bit, so your boy was starting to sweat, but I pulled the t-shirt out of this, so thanks to Mario, I'm able to cool off, man. All right, guys, so where are we? I'll show you where we're at. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby, just like I said. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? All right, so we're gonna head in here and see if we can find us some vintage toys. Let's uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and end it like a boss. Uh, we got some plushies. Isn't he like that little dude I found just a few weeks back? I don't. He kind of looks like him. So the one I had had like all kinds of crazy hair and stuff like that. What do we got over here? San Francisco's 49ers alarm clock. We got Helix Power Swing. It's like a football, I guess, or something. What's this lunchbox? What do we got here? Oh, it's just a Mickey Mouse lunchbox. Look at this thing. <laughs> that looks a little old. What the heck is that? It's probably one of those things that's worth a lot of money. Rednecks like to buy this kind of stuff. I'm a redneck. <laughs> it's something I'd probably buy. Well, it turns out what this is, it's a casting target. So you put it out in the water and then you throw your lure and I guess you try to like land your lure like in the mouth right here they uh in the box i sell i think for about 40 bucks um that's interesting though i didn't even know something like that existed looks like we got some treasure x quest for gold oh, yeah it's like a it's a little game it's got these little figures in it all right guys we got busted but hey man we still had fun today didn't we if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot of more. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I have, uh, why? Why should you? Because if you like vintage toys, if you like thrift stores, if you like yard sale, garage sale stuff, hit the subscribe go, subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way. There we go. And a ton of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.